素晴らしいですね。Wonderful. Didi is sometimes described as the ride share company, but、uh, the ride share company does not represent what Didi is doing、uh, because Didi is actually providing the platform for all the、uh, vehicles.、Uh, Didi Is not competing against the taxi corporation. They are working with taxis and then try to evolve the transportation industry itself. They become a very great partner、uh, for all the players in transportation industry. So that's why、uh, I created the joint venture with them. So now moving on. The humans are driving vehicles right now. But in the era of autonomous c a r what's going to happen? I think、um, less than 50 years, highways or regular streets,、uh, if a human wants to drive an automobile, then those humans need to have a special license to drive a car. Uh, regular people cannot drive a car in highway or urban cities. Right now, the horse riding is prohibited on the highway. The police car will catch you. Let's say Ginza Street of uh, uh, Tokyo, if someone rides a horse, a police car will arrest you. And that is going to be the uh, uh, human driving car in the future. The horse once was the mainstream transportation vehicle, now it became a hobby. People have to go to a special area to ride a horse. You can't do so in a regular road. So, someday in the future, the driving a car is going to be a hobby. The regular highways and in urban、uh, roads, the humans are not allowed to drive a car because that causes traffic accidents and that causes traffic jam. Someday we will be living in that era. So the time will be shifting、uh, tremendously. The taxi、uh, can work only eight hours a day. And that s caused traffic jam and also traffic、uh, accident. But the robot taxi can drive 24 hours a day, no traffic accident, and you can significantly reduce the traffic jam. So the pioneer of this world is GM, and we have invited Dan、uh, to this event. So I'd like to invite him here. Thank you, Masa. Good morning, everybody. It's,、uh, it's great to be here. Our mission at GM Cruise is to change the world through the deployment, the safe deployment of autonomous vehicles at massive scale. And critical to unlocking the ability to do that is the deployment of AI in a way that will allow the performance of the autonomous vehicle to reach the necessary level of safety. And overall performance so that we can deploy in the scale that we need to to make the impact that we want to have on the world. Another big factor that's going to allow us to be successful in our mission is, in fact, our partnership with SoftBank. And at the end of May, we made a significant announcement of a partnership between General Motors and SoftBank and GM Cruise as we move to accelerate this overall mission. And so, what I'd like to do is just share a quick moment from the、uh, a quick recap of the announcement that we made at the end of May. 
Earlier this morning, General Motors had a big announcement. It said that SoftBank's Vision Fund has invested $2.25 billion in GM's cruise automation. It's a recognition of the huge potential uh, impact, the positive impact this technology can have on the world, the business opportunity uh, that will come around that, and we're just delighted to have SoftBank on board as a, as a partner. This is fascinating, SoftBank teaming up with GM on uh, driverless cars. And uh, I think this is a big endorsement of GM's technology and shares of GM are up about 10%. Now, what does this mean for Tesla, for example, that SoftBank, uh, which is uh, you know, one of the highest profile investors in the world, seems to be endorsing uh, you know, GM. So we're extremely excited and proud to be in partnership uh, with Masa and the entire SoftBank team. At General Motors, we see a world and a future with zero crashes, zero emissions, and zero congestion. And I think Gene from Didi did a nice job of highlighting uh, some of the challenges uh, that exist in today's uh, car-based transportation world. Over the last hundred years, the automotive industry has brought significant positive change to the world in terms of giving people freedom of transportation, availability and affordability, but it has come with some significant costs, particularly in relation to crashes, emissions and congestion. 1.2 million people per year lose their lives on the roads of the world. I think there are about 3,000 people in this room here today so every day we lose one room full of people like this to traffic accidents around the world, and that needs to change. Billions of tons of CO2 emissions occur every year, and every year the global economy incurs a trillion dollars of lost productivity from people and goods being stuck in traffic around the world. And we have the ability to change that with the deployment of autonomous vehicles at massive scale. Artificial intelligence is a key enabler to deliver the level of AV, autonomous vehicle driving performance, that we need. And at the very core of unlocking that future vision is the simple fact that AI will enable autonomous vehicles to be better, safer, and more efficient drivers than where humans are today. And that's going to have some very profound effects on the world. It's going to impact our physical landscape, the landscape of cities will change as a result of this. It's going to reset entire industries well beyond just transportation. It's going to affect real estate. It's going to affect energy because our view of an autonomous world is that it's all electric. So it's going to affect the energy industry. It's going to completely change the insurance industry. And so the deployment of this technology is going to have a massive far reaching effect it's going to change the way we live, and it's going to change a lot of industries around us. This technology is also going to unlock a massive business opportunity. There are trillions and trillions of vehicle miles traveled in the world every year. And what autonomous technology will allow us to do is to reduce the cost of those miles traveled by between 50 and 75 percent just in the early years of deployment of the technology. So this technology will allow an autonomous vehicle to be 50 to 75 percent cheaper to operate than a human driven vehicle in the early stages with a huge opportunity to, to improve beyond that. We'll be bringing Moore's law to transportation and changing those dynamics. You've heard about the rapid growth and massive scale of rideshare businesses today. We believe that we can unlock a business opportunity that is hundreds of times larger than where rideshare is today by being able to address basically all miles traveled in the world by bringing the cost of transportation down to a radically lower level than where it is today. We also believe that we will be deploying the world's, world's largest IoT platform the world's largest mobile data ingestion platform, and we will have an immense amount 
of, uh, of, of information and detail about the world. What's unique about the approach that we're taking to this at General Motors and with the team at Cruz is we have all of the capabilities necessary to undertake this uh, huge engineering challenge all under one roof. We have the world's best AV software engineering team at Cruz in San Francisco. We have the world's best vehicle integration and validation engineers in Michigan. And we have those teams working together uh, every day to give us complete control of the entire autonomous vehicle system. And what that allows us to do is a couple of things. It allows us to deploy uh, and develop the safest possible system because we control the whole equation. We know everything that's going on in the system. And it also allows us to iterate and move very quickly because we understand how the whole system works. We can iterate and develop and improve the system on a rapidly, uh, on a very rapid basis. So we believe we have an extraordinarily high rate of development, speed of development. And then ultimately when the technology is ready for safe deployment, uh, because of our industrial manufacturing scale and our vehicle side engineering know-how, we will be ready to deploy this technology at massive scale very quickly. So it's a very rapid rate of iteration and improvement, and then an ability to deploy at massive scale. Another interesting dynamic or fact about the way that we're approaching the equation is that we are doing virtually all of our development work and testing in the most complex urban driving environments. You might have seen many videos of autonomous vehicles operating on suburban roads and, and so on, but we have decided to take on the most difficult problem first. And the most difficult problem is getting a car to operate in the very unpredictable, very complex environment that you find in a big, big urban uh, city. And we're doing most of our development work in downtown San Francisco for that reason, to take on the most difficult challenge. And it's also where we see the initial business opportunity. So I'm gonna show you three short video clips of some of the things that our cars encounter every day uh, when they're out doing development testing. Some people talk about how many miles their cars have traveled. What I'll show you in this very first short clip is a car traveling just to not even 100 meters, but it shows you what it will encounter in a very short trip down a piece of a street in Chinatown in San Francisco, and you'll see just how complex the environment is that the car is dealing with. Everything you see in these videos, by the way, the car is operating 100% autonomously. So just in that short, you know, 10, 20, 30 meters the car traveled, it had to deal with pedestrians, oncoming traffic, a double parked truck, crossing yellow lines, just to make it to the next traffic light. The next example I'm gonna show you is something that happens every day in big cities as well, which is a construction zone. They're unpredictable, they pop up out of nowhere, uh, and you'll see the car here, again, operating fully autonomously, responding to uh, handheld signs by a construction worker, uh, and then ultimately uh, making its way successfully through the construction zone. So you, you can't plan for these things, they just happen uh, every day in big city traffic. The last example I'll share with you is one of my favorites. It's, uh, it, it occurred several months ago. Um, it's a six-way intersection in San Francisco, which in itself is a complex thing. But in this case, the traffic lights have failed. And you'll see that the traffic lights are flashing, which indicates that they're not working. And our car approaches the intersection, enters the intersection, and successfully navigates its way through the six-way intersection where the traffic lights are no longer working. So it's only by navigating these most complex urban environments that we can get the autonomous cars 
to the level of performance necessary from a safety and just an ability to navigate the everyday environment that will be necessary to have this technology ready to deploy at massive scale. So to recap, our goal is to change the world through the safe deployment of autonomous vehicles at massive scale. If we don't do it at massive scale, we're not going to have the positive impact that we need on the world. And if we can't do it safely, we won't deploy uh, because we won't be solving one of the biggest problems that's there today. And so between General Motors, the crews team, and our partner at SoftBank, uh, we couldn't be more excited uh, about the opportunity that we have in front of us, the impact that we're going to have on the world, and we do see this as a, absolutely as a global uh, opportunity and a global deployment. So we're extraordinarily excited uh, to bring this technology uh, to reality as quickly as we possibly can. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.